We are taking attrition out here. All of my ships should be able to take it. It's fine. Just need to get the Hejaz out of this war. Then I can turn around and properly stomp over Kilwa. We're still building more ships, that's fine. And in fact, you could also be drilling. No, you can't. Yes, you could. Oh, no, you can't because you're not on uh, home territory. Yeah, I really need to have a second transport fleet. So what I am going to do is I'm going to split out to 27. So 11. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, uh, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven. Needed to make sure that all the ports are on the right side, not in the Atlantic. What city? Uh, Arnhem. December. So close to the end of December. And then I can get my new military tech and everything's going to be swish and swanky. There it is. Boom! 500. It cost me 561 monarch points to get a technology. Oh, that's glorious. Comparing that to uh, the monarch point costs in the Japan game, right? The last time I paid it was 1,200. Oh, really sweating here. Wearing a jumper doesn't help. The dynasty of a noble Stadthalder, von Orania, is certainly a powerful one. Through Paul von Walbeck, they rule our nation and will do so for many years to come. Do I need any points? I don't think I really need any points. I mean... I might as well, just because, you know, it's points. What do I need the most? Probably Diplo. Did global trade spawn in your country? Yes. And better, it spawned in Antwerp. Where I am now producing 149 trade power. It's a world port. Dominant trade hub. Plus 10 local trade power, minus 5 dev cost. And the world port, so it's a 25 local trade power zone. And it's also protect trade, and it's owned by the Berkers. Like, the, the, the trade here is kind of bonkers, frankly. Although it looks like the e English or the British are trying to steal more of my trade. No, it's Scandinavian pirates. I really need to go after Scandinavia. You're guessing I'm either in the north or the south of England. That, that's a pretty bold guess there, Lewis. Can you only upgrade ports with Dharma? Yes. That's a paid feature. Finally, we have heard back from the dearest Roseanne regarding our request to her husband. The something or other. Bribes growing more accepted. I had almost no bribery, damn it. In fact, I had less than a percent. Decided to grant it. We gained 25 Diplo. Thank you, Rob. Uh, Brunswick. I totally didn't just call you... Robant. I only have five colonies. I am missing one. Let's build one there just to stop the uh, British taking it. Alright, so where's the next spot that I need to protect trade? I'm still tempted to say the Caribbean. I mean, Zanzibar is still a problem, but frankly, I'll be seizing that myself. Aden? Aden. Because if I can control Aden, then I can send all the money from India via Aden 
rather than direct to Zanzibar, so that's an extra port. I enable tr uh, yeah. We still haven't taken that port, that's a problem. Actually, my supply goes up to here. So, so long as I stay here, we should be okay. I don't have maritime, so I won't be repairing, unfortunately. And... Our artillery has gone up. Um, I am right next to an enemy right here. Upgrading my 10,000 artillery might be a bit dangerous. So it would do it anyway. I wish you could redirect troops in this. I wish you could redirect roots in this, like switch direction if you control enough of those upstream. Yeah, but I believe that program program programmatically it would be very difficult. Because it can throw up errors if trade loops forever. It has to have an end point. Where are the world ports without Dharma? I don't think that they scale. I think they're just centers of trade like they used to be. <laughs> the best way to get rid of another nation's privateers is simply revoke their coastal privileges. As we all know, coastlines are all but granted to a nation as a privilege by the great and powerful Stutthalder. Exactly, Mr. Thompson, exactly. Then as soon as I've taken this port, I can just drop the ships there and they'll start repairing. I can build stuff again. Um, how? Still really... Wow, I am horrifically low on sailors. Alright, we're going to have to do the uh, sailor upgrades. Oh, damn it, you can't do it through this interface. I was like, ah, uh, not seeing them. Sailors... Sailors. 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 Cool. Right, we have six colonies on the go. My income has dropped rather substantially, but I'm okay with that. Oh, the other thing I should have been doing is upgrading this guy. I totally forgot about that. 37? Yeah, still worthwhile. Next month? Next month. Currently revoking trees from countries to use them to build the Royal Navy and Mio. Poor Scandinavia, do wonder what Mio will end up with the Dharma update, since they don't want DLC as a requirement for the mod. Um, Don't know. We almost finished the massive shipbuilding operation that we undertook. 351 light ships we will have. Oh, the colonial border. Saw it at yourselves. And that's about to kick their fleet out. So what I should have done is have my heavies ready to go and gun them down before they could actually escape. Mistakes were made. Right, let's see how our armies do compared to theirs. Well, the navy certainly annihilates them. This is a minus two. We have shock damage received and they have a lot of cavalry. So we probably will be okay. Oh yeah, we're annihilating them. Not even a contest. May as well just stay here and siege this down. Go ahead and repair. Excellent. In fact, you gained two galleys. 
Ah, uh, we can get rid of the galleys. I am not interested in those. Bye. Another technology. Admin. Ooh, and that gives me ideas. However, I want to hold off on that because I'm going to need the admin to um, thingy the thing. To do the thing. So that the other thing can happen. You know what I mean, right? The thing. Coring is what I'm talking about. Oh dear. Rebels. Okay. Hejaz are on medium, so we should be able to take that province without... Nope, they've taken it back again. But there's no forts over there, so they don't really have a claim to it. Other than the fact that it's theirs. But that hardly stops us. Yeah, once we've taken the capital, we should have this. Crikey, the siege is taking a while. There we go. They are on low. Azure, super peace. That and money. And war reps. That'll do me. Much obliged to you. Pleasure doing business and all that. Why are you taking attrition? Because I'm out of sailors. Oh, colonies! In fact, you guys should also be... embargoing my rivals. Neil Vlanderen, you have lots. Press sailors. Twice. Neil Helderlund, once again need some free stuff. Neil Helderlund now no longer needs new stuff. Oh wow, Miltech 23 is a huge one. Infantry, cavalry, tactics, cavalry shock, and flanking range. That's a lot of stuff. Alright, let's sail on over here. We'll deal with the rebels, kill all of them, and then move over here again. The other thing I need to do is see if my transport, my second transport fleet is ready. Ships are you still waiting for? <sighs> Some ships which are still a year away. Ugh. Well, at this point... What I'm mostly after is that. And let's say that. Okay, fight must go on. Damn it. Now I get the minus two. I was really hoping I would get there just before them. Tax it. Yeah, that's dangerous. Back off. Go, 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 go. Yes. Run away. But at least I landed, which means I'm no longer exiled. That was the real reason for doing that. Alright, let's head over here. We'll deal with these. Uh, why have you left? Oh, right, you were repairing. That's fine. 
So now I'm going to have these guys completely blocked up again. And it's all good. And then once these two extra transports are done, I will have access to another army. Let's call you transports two. Just so I know where you are and who you are and what you are. Alright, army has landed here. That's 40,000 peasants. Still having big problems with sailors. Um, Highlands, potentially with a river crossing. They have no leader. I do. I have half the number of troops that they do. Shouldn't matter, though. They're peasants. Yeah, didn't think so. Look at these number differences. They're huge. This is one of the nice things about fighting peasants. It's just like, I can massacre you. Um, right. That seems to have been another colony done. Let's get rid of Muskegon. Is that actually Muskegon? That's in a different area. Muskegon's supposed to be right there. Maybe there. I think it's that one. Yeah, I think this is Muskegon. Um, anyway. That's all being built. That's fine. Are there any Californian regions left? There is, actually. That's hilarious. Yeah, we'll grab it. <laughs> we'll try and snake a California in the back here. Unfortunately, I'm pretty sure we are too late with Alaska, but hey, it's fine. Half of you can go there, half of you can go there. Once we've dealt with that, then we can turn around and retake our provinces over here. We're still half a year away with the other transport fleet. But I get the distinct feeling that Kill was feeling pretty secure at the moment. Which would be entirely false. I also have maximum war score against us. It should be plus 78 right now. Brilliant government! Well, obviously it's led by me. Our most serene republic has been governed extremely efficiently the past year. There is now a possibility for us to benefit from this. Money is always good. You know me too well. Guys, you shouldn't have. Thank you. Uh, you've not done anything with trade power. That seems like a mistake to me. Alright, so the armies have done their job. I think we secure the coast again, so you can go and do your thing in Aden. You were probably the Zanzibar fleet. So go ahead and protect trade in Zanzibar. Because I definitely control the sea. Um, those are rebels that they're going to have to deal with, so enjoy. They're my separatists. 
Nope, there are Adelan Separatists. And you don't seem to care much about the Adelan Separatists, which I don't appreciate. Diplotech's gone up, and we can now get two Deckers. I mean, yes, because I want the plus 20% trade efficiency. Oh, it's nice being ahead of time in technology. This is crazy. Also, price of cotton just went up. Nice. It's such a different feeling than playing with uh, Japan or whoever. Actually, let, let's think about this. No, I need to take the provinces down here. I need to take Makua. So let's make sure that gets done. And 25, 26, 27. Reinforcements will be on their way shortly. New Friesland. Does New Friesland actually have an army? 6,000. They do. Well, actually, that's not a problem because we can just send these guys on the way. Their army is on the march. Okay. To be considered. Just noticed all of my infantry here are mercenary. Hmm. That's okay. That's basically converting money into manpower. Little supplies. Maku is mine, so they're going to be losing their ticking war score. This is all open land. Hey, Republic of Play! Thanks very much for the raid! Welcome to you all. You're watching the Dutch fighting in Africa. <laughs> How you guys doing? Alright, so 39,000 coming to attack. They are going to... Oh gosh, they're trying to cut me off from my escape route. Which I would kind of prefer they didn't do. What's your miltech? Your miltech's 21, mine's 22, so I am ahead of you. Plus my military ideas are good. What are yours like? You have defensive, you have offensive. I have offensive as well, I think. No, I have quality. I don't have offensive. That's unlike me. Past Modred, what are you doing? What were you playing just now, Republic? And are you excited about the uh, new Warhammer expansion? That's what my chat's been asking. Ah, uh, do I want to try and intercept you? I think I need to. Like, I need to secure my escape route. There's no river crossing, it's a coastal battle. Playing Rome today. Okay, cool. Right, battle is joined. My transports are still off the coast, so I can escape from here if I need to. I have 120% discipline to the 106. They have slightly more morale than me. Well, they have defensive ideas, so it's not hugely surprising. They also have a defensive, sorry, a morale advisor and some army tradition. My army tradition is double what theirs is. I have power projection, they don't. I have a lot of power projection. And they are slightly mysticism. I have prestige. They probably don't. Yeah. They also have more artillery than I do, which is interesting. All right, let's see how this goes. Ooh, I am being stomped. This might even be a stack wipe. Run away! <laughs> that hurt! Okay, do not underestimate the Africans. They can really stomp you. Where's my other army? You need to land over here. You're not- oh yes you are. And you're about to jump on me. Haha. Uh -huh. Right. You need to go and land here so they can replenish. So we'll come back with twice our numbers. And we'll be fine. That's dealt with. This is a occupied territory, but they do have an army, they just didn't have a very big one. 
You saw that. They were assigned to jump on those ships, but they didn't. Also, there's two ships missing. Ah, there they are. You jump on there. You head over here. You're assigned to those ships. Now, there you go. Okay, so I wasn't going mad. There have been instances where I have actually been saying, board these ships, they've just gone, nah. We're good. Yeah, a little bit, nothing crazy, not a huge Warhammer fan, but the trailer was cool. Yeah, I am kind of curious if they're actually adding naval battles, because they said that they weren't going to add naval battles, but now they might. <laughs> what I really hope is they add the actual pirate faction Sartosa. I mean, pirate vampires are cool, don't get me wrong, but I want actual pirates. Okay, you're still colonizing, that's fine. We'll actually replenish these troops before too long. It's a fight on an island. Ah. Well, hopefully that makes the Dark Elves slightly more interesting. Because they're Black Arcs. Sure, the artillery support was nice, but in terms of actual naval engagement, it's kind of boring. And also, sodding impossible to determine how strong their unit and garrison was versus whatever army you were trying to inter intercept. Black Arcs get their own map. Good. Merka has risen. Ah, but they're coming to deal with the rebels. Excellent. Excellent, excellent, excellent. 16 war exhaustion. That's a problem for them. It also changed the Black Arcs when it comes to naval battles. Good. Good. Here come the reinforcements. Alright, so I think I might try and land again. All of their forces are up here in the north. We're going to jump on the ships, set out, and then start unloading a Nangosh. My colony in California has just started. Excellent. Ashanti is fabricating claims. How could you, Ashanti? Dutch particulars. Oh, those are Dutch rebels. Um, stop drilling. And we have some more ships that we can send out. Right, where is the next trouble spot? How's Lubeck looking? Yeah, our control of Lubeck is actually waning. So I think I'm going to send you to Lubeck. I have so many ships dedicated to Lubeck. 168 plus another 13. Eesh. Right, Angosh has been taken. Go grab Makua. Alright. And the second army has arrived. Head over to Angosh. Then once Makua has been taken, we have the uh, war goal again. And their army is probably marching briskly to the south. 